Hello and welcome back. I am Luna Love Empress, your host, Naz. I am doing the narcissist, the reality of narcissist part two. <laughs> okay so um if you had joined me in part one part one was pretty much just covering what a narcissist is how we can identify um a narcissist the narcissist triads and um why they behave the way they do so in this part we're going to continue on from that but we're going to be talking about their behaviors um okay so how they display their behaviors in reality okay because that's a whole different story okay now um it is different from identifying the narcissist's uh triads okay um but it kind of does correlate to some extent right so um, I'm going to be, again, like I said, talking about the narcissist in real life in this um, episode, okay? Um, and you may be aware of how a narcissist differs um, from the real, the reality, okay? From, you may go onto Google, you may search Google, and you could type in there, um, try it of a narcissist. And what you will almost find there is a whole list of things and repetitive ways of dealing with triads of a narcissist or even a personality of a narcissist. But in reality, it's completely a whole different story. Have you ever had um, a day when you live with a narcissist or you have gone to a narcissist's house? It could be your family, it could be your friend. Um, it could be your boyfriend, it could be your partner, right? So we go to a narcissist's house or we are living in with a narcissist. And have you ever noticed how when somebody comes to the house, their personality just does a 360 spin? And you're left in wonder, like, what happened just now, <laughs> right? Um, and then the minute that person leaves, it's like they become this whole new person out there. It's almost like they seem to have a split personality. So I'm going to tell you a real quick story, okay, um, of someone that I know. Um, so she lives with her parents and she had obviously some people come from her children's school um, to deal with her children um, in terms of, you know, parenting and things like this. And um, her parent... Um, all of a sudden, this parent was pretty much arguing with her before, you know, this person even came into the house. Like, she was actually arguing with her. So once this lady comes into the house, okay, of my friends, um, the parent started acting like she's never did anything wrong at all, okay? I mean, she was sitting there and, and she was preaching about parenting and how to do parenting and oh um how we must all you know be good examples for our children okay and um my friend legit said she was gobsmacked she was shocked her face was like oh, did she really just do that and at that point it was when my friend became so numb at that point she was like what just happened her brain just froze and then her her parent um put it back onto herself to um receive appraisal now i'm coming to that point okay in a few moments uh, we did discuss on this we touched a little bit on it in the previous um F part if you haven't seen it go and check it out i'll put a link um in the description box for you guys but yeah um so she um she, she basically said to me um that the parent then put it all back onto her, saying that she's been telling her, you know, how to do parenting, giving examples, and that inevitably made the opposite person believe the parent that whatever this parent was saying, she was right, and there was nothing wrong with whatever she was saying, and that left my friend in a situation where she felt very vulnerable and she felt like there was some gaslighting going on here 
um, almost like the tables flipped and turned on to her. Now that is the reality of narcissism and that's not something you can type in on Google at the point when you need help with those particular things, right? It's almost like narcissists have a split personality, okay? They do. It's almost like they do and they do. Most of the time, narcissists do have a split personality. Um, and it's not about saying, okay, they have two different personalities. They could have a multiple of split personalities, right? So it kind of gets hard to distinguish when a narcissist is actually being the real self then, or whether they're being honest and genuine, or whether they are just being themselves, okay? Because they talk in such a way. Like I said from that example, they talk in such a way that makes you feel like it's almost like saying you want to fall for whatever they're saying as well. And that's a very tricky part. They can pretty much gaslight um, at that point too. So I believe that that was a very good example um, to give. Um, now, another thing as well is, like I said, they tend to like to leave their victims. Um, I quote victim because that's what they are for the narcissist. They are a victim. Okay. Um, they tend to leave the narcissist speechless, um, vulnerable, hopeless, in shock, not sure what to say or, you know, where to go from next. And like I said, um, there are a few, of course, experiences that I've personally been through myself with dealing with a narcissist. I have quite a lot of people who I know who have dealt with a narcissist as well. Um, and a lot of the triads and majority of the time are the same, right? And believe me, I have gone through it. And I can tell you now from experience, gaslighting is probably the most common sign that you are going to see any narcissist do, okay? Also, in the triad here about, I quote, people saying that narcissists are energy vampires and they tend to be, um, they tend to head towards mainly sensitive people for example an empath and yes that is kind of true okay they can tend to move towards empaths um but again it's not 100 percent accurate to say that because i feel they just pick somebody who is very vulnerable who doesn't have boundaries and doesn't have resilience they are their victims okay because they like to have control okay over their victim they want control and they love that control they like to abuse their power okay i wouldn't be surprised if some of these prime ministers presidents are actually narcissists <laughs> um now i want to give you guys a really good example okay of another kind of reality of a narcissist okay Let's say we have a box. So if you can imagine that we have a box in front of us, I really wish I had a box in front of me. But <laughs> say, for example, we have a box in front of us and it's an enclosed box. OK, it's closed from the top, the bottom. And in this box, there's a sensitive person, for example, and there is a narcissist. And we put both of these two people inside of this box. It's closed. There's no windows. There's a door, but the outside person has a key. So an outside person will be able to come in once a week to check up on the empath and the narcissist. And as you can imagine for a sensitive person to be trapped in a box with no windows, with no way of trying to escape, how that's going to turn out for a narcissist. And with COVID-19, that is pretty much a lot worse for a narcissist too. Uh, for the victim, sorry. For a sensitive person, right, who's going through this. The narcissist then sees this as an opportunity to destroy the victim and their self-esteem, their confidence, right? Inevitably, if the victim starts to stand up for themselves, this then makes the narcissist feel like they're losing power. What will tend to happen is then the narcissist won't react. They won't react, okay? They won't react. They will start to act like they are a victim and they will start to slowly diminish, okay? And they will sit in the corner of the box. This will then make the victim feel like, oh, okay, I won, but oh, I'm now starting to feel a little bit bad for the narcissist, right? 
and so the narcissist will start to feel a little bit bad because the narcissist is not grounded the narcissist can't see anything outside of that box except for the narcissist energy the narcissist will then go uh, the victim will then go to the narcissist and the narcissist will try to be nice and be sweet but listen to the words of the narcissist the narcissist is not going to talk in particular about the victim they're mostly going to be talking about themselves and how they feel right and so what did the narcissist do the narcissist grabbed the victim right where they wanted the victim okay now this is a very toxic pattern and eventually when the narcissist starts to realize this pattern and comes into their power they stand up to this narcissist the narcissist can sometimes start to feel like they're losing control and this is where their mind can become quite chaotic a narcissist's mind is quite chaotic anyway they like to project that chaos onto the victim okay it's really hard to explain um, because it's the reality of you know a narcissist in general that the narcissist has got a very chaotic mind a very chaotic mind and so they project that chaoticness onto their victim right so what tends to happen then is the narcissist will be okay uh let me try again not working let me try manipulating gaslighting the victim not working and then we will have eventually the the empath will then stand up for herself now remember there is a difference between standing up for yourself and really trying to instigate something like feeding the narcissist which i'm going to kind of come on to in the next part um so that the narcissist then will start to get abusive verbally abusive or physically abusive now this is like i said is something that most and i would say most 80 percent of even 90 percent to be fair of narcissists are abusive are abusive uh, they are verbally abusive they're emotionally abusive they are mentally abusive and they can be physically abusive too and they can have all four of those kind of abusive triads okay now before i move on to the next part the narcissist is like i said almost projecting their energy onto the victim it's almost like saying the narcs can look through your soul almost can look for your soul and believe me i've had this kind of happen to me um a multiple of times with a relationship that i have been experiencing a lot of people that i've been speaking to it's almost like they can see through your soul and that is what they are trying to use okay to put that fear into you that they know you so well that you can't move without them but it's actually the opposite to this okay the narcissist can't move without you okay so remember that so um talking about um the narcissist projecting okay um and i also said about gaslighting and how the narcissist like to project this energy onto their victim it doesn't matter if you're sensitive or not the other part i was saying was gaslighting right which is another form of manipulation turning the tables brainwashing gossiping using people okay so when they feel like they can't get anywhere okay with you before they get onto that abusive part they will start to verbally abuse or emotionally abuse by gossiping about you okay to people that they know they can use family friends for this too all right um I, i've seen um some friends it happened to them um, their partners started gossiping about them and making them look like they uh, don't know what they are doing they don't know where they're heading and they're generally trying to have some kind of concern for them for their well-being because they're worried about them making them look like you know they are um, trying to help their partner but in actual fact they were gaslighting right see manipulation is quite a hard thing to spot when a narcissist is that professional and they are trying to manipulate the situation but they also don't just gossip to people who they know they gossip to people that you know as well and when there is children involved my god 
the narcissist believe me don't just stop to adults they will use and manipulate the children against you as well okay to get what they want sounds evil probably because it is evil <laughs> the other thing as well is the narc it's not all bad okay i mean when i say this you're probably like now she's lost it <laughs> hold up hold up narc is not all bad in terms of they never say anything good about you but they do always say things about themselves right so they might say something good about you in order for you to feed their ego right because it's all about their ego they want i quote approval okay this you can type this up all over google and you will see that narcs want praise 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 approval let's just quickly take a look first at what the uh, definition of approval is i found two the action of approving something and the second one was the belief that someone or something is good or acceptable i would say the second one goes very closely to the narcissist here okay so i'm going to tell you real soon okay um how to not feed into the narcissist okay when it comes to this approval and the other thing they like as well as long um which which is what i kind of mentioned was control okay they love control they need and they must i say in capital letters m-u-s-t must have control okay and they just like to see the reaction out of you but the minute you stop giving them control just watch just watch the reaction okay and now um I do want to also say okay that instead of um instead of a narc losing their temper when they've lost control which is what i kind of said a bit earlier the narcs will then target the victim okay um emotionally all right now this is where it gets really important because in general we don't share our deep darkest secrets and our information to people unless we feel really close to them most of the narcs are in our families too okay let's face it <laughs> no family's perfect partners will turn into a narcissist um, or are a narcissist and we do not even know about it right so they will use your secrets and they will use your information that you have given to them to really manipulate and use that okay to their advantage okay and they can even use it to gossip to your friends to cause trouble for you okay so now that takes us on to the next part how to deal with such incidences okay so um like i said with the last quote that we just had is never give out your information to a knock okay just don't do it don't give out any personal information don't give out your secrets okay or even your feelings to a narc okay because it's valuable and that is what they want they want that they want that information so they can use it and turn the tables onto you in gaslight okay and it's almost like saying okay you wouldn't give your data protection information out to a random stranger would you would you give your bank pin card to a person who's just randomly on the street no so it's kind of almost like saying you're giving your your bank details to a narc and expect them to misuse it okay those people who have already given info um it could be their husband it could be their boyfriend and they've been in a long-term relationship i mean you pretty much would be giving them that kind of information when they try to use this information on you don't react to them don't react to them don't okay because that's what they kind of really want they want a reaction off you and you're just gonna feed into that reaction they will oh, press those buttons believe me but don't react to them okay you need to have resilience here okay a lot of resilience so i would definitely say the most important thing right now for you in order to deal with the narcissist is self-work work on yourself that is so so important okay i mean that could be anything from grounding yourself to having resilience to working on your self-confidence and your self-esteem okay 
even if you have to ghost the narcissist, okay, physically, if they're in your face, just ghost them, walk away, don't give in to the narcissist when they are trying to manipulate you or use that information against you it can be so hard god only knows that i have been there and trust me it is very hard okay but don't do it okay second thing is don't lose your call with a narcissist okay just don't because inevitably you could actually just be picking up their energy okay but they want you to do that they want you to lose the temper okay so then again that's almost a form of reaction you're just giving to them you will see and hear this everywhere don't don't give in to the narcissist okay don't lose your temper don't communicate don't talk to them okay just just walk away okay now remember i also mentioned about um not falling victim to the narcissist and that little box story well this is kind of where you need to actually put your boundaries in place and if you don't know what your boundaries are, that's why I said it's so, so, so important to be working on your boundaries, okay? You need to know what your boundaries are, okay? Because if you don't know what they are, and anybody can cross those boundaries then. And that is called also self-respect and loving yourself. And that is pretty much what the narc hates, okay? Boundaries also means speaking up for yourself, okay? So it is it's important that you speak up for yourself and one of the examples i'm going to give you here is um say for example the victim in the box stood up for herself eventually and said no she said what she needed to say to the knock and the knock kind of disintegrated into the darkness and she or he did not bother to go after the knock to see how the narcissist is feeling because it's not her problem it's not her problem or his problem so you see that's putting that boundary there okay they can try manipulating you making you feel bad in some way or some sense they might come around and say i'm so sorry i shouldn't have done that boundaries boundaries ghost them don't talk to them don't let them come back in okay don't let them okay if they're already living with you close the bedroom door on them okay now um again that's again about not conversing with them okay um now for sensitive people like myself really really important that you guys do some uh really grounding um energy okay and try keeping yourselves out of the house a lot okay in the last lockdown that we had here in the uk i was severely depressed and it was only by staying out of the house i was feeling a lot more better okay um and grounded so stay out of the house as much as you can do some artwork work on yourself okay and your self-esteem um there are some online programs that you can join okay do something creative expressive okay it's really really important and meditation okay is is also really beneficial yoga any form of exercise is really good but this is not just limited to only sensitives as well i do recommend that everybody does this because it really can help you with your mentality and with your inner self healing and strength okay it's about making yourself stronger on the inside okay now the next part is don't praise the narcissist okay when they expect appraisal don't do it because they're not going to change okay they're not going to change at all okay um loyalty means nothing to the narcissist okay because the minute you start putting it back onto yourself they're going to be like oh that's good now my turn okay so they it's almost like a temporary fix just to get their ego satisfied okay and then that's when the toxic cycle starts all over again okay so do not praise the narcissist last um few kind of um important things i wanted to touch upon is if you are in a abusive relationship don't and i mean abusive like verbally abusive um physically abusive okay get out get out okay you need to get out from that get out and get help that is the most important thing your well-being and your safety is more important if you have children even more reason to do that as well okay 
on that note, I did want to quickly mention because I kind of forgot that, you know, about the boundaries. When you're setting boundaries, you're also teaching your future generation as well to do exactly that too, which is creating boundaries so that they don't actually have to go through the same thing that you are going through now because that is the most important thing, right, for our future generation or anybody else who's going through this, right, be an example for them. Um, but again, like I said, get out if you are in an abusive relationship. There's no ifs or buts or any way of dealing with that. You need to. And the moment an authoritative figure comes in, they really have no chance. They can't mess with you at all. Trust me on this one. Um, a narc is definitely not stronger than the authority. OK, so if you're feeling worried, you're feeling anxious about it, you're feeling scared. Honestly, you need to get help. You really do. And as scary as it may seem or feel, but that help is there and the narc can't do anything once the police arrive at that doorstep, okay? They can't do anything, okay? Because they won't even leave you alone with the narc, okay? They can't and they won't. And don't worry about whether the narc is going to use all this information. The police, the authorities are trained in dealing with people like this, okay? They are. Make a group circle join a community there's some on facebook as well that i've joined to uh, join a community speak to those people there get other people to help you out okay really really important and the other part i wanted to mention as well is never expose the narcissist you may think that's probably the best way forward or the best thing to do don't do it don't do it because that's exactly what they want they crave the approval they crave the attention right as remember they crave that so don't give them that because this is what they want remember i quoted the approval okay you're just pretty much doing that and you may think that you're doing that to insult them or make them feel bad believe me nothing's gonna make a narcissist feel bad they are professional in what they do okay so until the next part i'm going to love you and leave you um with these great kind of things to kind of um dwell on and learn from i guess um and i hope that this helped um a lot of you guys out there who are dealing with the narcissists you can dm me on instagram as well if you would like to talk to someone okay everything's kept private and confidential okay i'm here to help if you need to you can also email me the email is going to be in the description box below as well for you guys so until then stay safe stay well and i'll see you guys real soon Bye bye